Hi, me and Tanya. Um, got to start getting stuff staged up for when our vehicle comes tomorrow. We can get it out of here and put it in storage. Uh, I posted a, a comment uh, or something earlier today. It was about a, an individual I knew and uh, the hardships that that individual went through. They were caught in war. They were they were a, a prisoner of war. The stuff that person went through, was, I can still see what he. I, I don't want to go there. All right, it wasn't very uh, happy. Let's put it that way. What is happy is that he's still alive, as far as I know today, doing quite good. He overcame some things. He found himself. He, he talked about when he was uh, um, inside um, just like a cage and it wasn't an even floor and it's you know you've heard of tiger cages and stuff this made one of those things look like chicken feed they they thought he was a spy he was he was in the military he uh, we prefer not to talk about his name or anything or even what military he was associated with either way um, because he's just getting tired of talking about it and he's gone on but it's stuff i remember from way back and you don't mind me talking about it to a point, and that's where I'm at. Um, anyways, he um, <clears throat> he found that um, he had to have faith that people didn't forget about him. We didn't, but you know he chose to believe that too in his heart. He was not alone. He had the courage. He was asking for courage to, to you know, endure. The, um, well, like I said, they thought he was a spy. So when they interrogated this individual, it was nothing to do like they did to regular U.S. troops or, you know, it could have been in your country or what. And there's a certain way, well, with spies, it's a little different. They did that to a lot of people, all right? Just so, I don't know, war is not good. Anyways, he he went through some pretty, uh, huh. <laughs> oh, okay. He found himself. You know, religion comes later. You know, oh God, help me, oh God, oh God, you know, or whatever, you know, oh Whoever it is that you, you know, those are words. You'll say that when someone's beating you up. Oh, God, please, no more, whatever. Yeah, that's just simple stuff. No, you have to find this. This is where it's at. They can do whatever they want. They can walk up your body. They can beat it. They can rape it. They can chew it up, whatever the hell they want to do. They can even get this side of even flipping killing you. Go ahead. But you can't do anything to my mind. That I can control. You can call me whatever you want. Do whatever you want to me. Feed me any chemical you want or whatever. But it's still mine, not yours. And when people say, oh, I've lost my mind and stuff. Now by control, they can do stuff about it. How? Well, that's something that sometimes medicine will help. But in this case here, with this individual, medicine had nothing to do with it. It went beyond him. So, what does that mean and how do you find it? Well, you're going to have to get that one yourself because it hits everybody different. And it's not a cop-out because we all have something that's a little bit, you know, to endure. I look at that individual there, just in a basic uh, crap. He didn't even, they didn't even have clothes on him for a while. And stand there naked. Men and women looking at him, children throwing things at him, poking him. Oh yeah, they do that too. He was a pinata for a while. All right, let's put it that way. Nah, I'm doing okay. He knew how to let out on the land. He 
and talk to the grass. You think we're nuts? Okay. Cool. I'm, I'm just flipping the Looney Tunes. That's alright. I love it. I'll talk to grass all the time out there and here and what have you. It's the one na one balance on earth. It is the one nation on earth that is the most humblest. It's the grass nation. You can step on it. It'll it'll comfort you. It it invites you and then it'll come back up and ask you to do it again. That's humble. Doesn't complain about it. Oh, you can break and kill my family. Oh, that's cool. We'll make one. I hope it helps. Um, these are individuals that, made it, you know, put me in a position to where I care about people. He took a chance on me. On me. He believes in me with his whole heart. That I am who I am, and nothing more and nothing less is going to destroy anything other than what I can do with my two feet. Left foot, right foot. Left foot, right foot. I remember that. I got to get back into that, and that's what we're doing. So I remember that story. Oh, there was more to it than that, and uh, we're not going to go there. But the bottom line is, you got to find yourself. For real. They can do whatever they want then. He'll come out okay. He didn't lose his mind. He didn't lose nothing. He's a human. I love it. It's what helps me be who I am. I thought man I could go through that when people wanted. People don't like me very much around anyways. I'm taking those stories that that man had given me as a gift. I'm okay. My wife kind of, she's learning about it too, and she's starting to learn that it's okay. We help each other out. We're good people to each other. That's why sometimes I take a chance on people. I'm a fool, but that's okay. So is he. He was a fool. Beautiful people from all over the world. Peace from me and Tanya, one of the weird girls from planet Earth.